four months. I have been waiting four months for a new Life of Luxury video. Say, look, four months ago, I reacted to she gave birth to it during the night. And I was just so inspired by that video that I decided to have another baby because I'm, I'm pregnant. I don't know if I was pregnant then. I was not pregnant then yet, but now I am because I was inspired by this Life of Luxury video. I was like, it's time to have a second baby. And we hit over 100,000 likes and then I had to wait. But today is finally the day that I get to watch a new Life of Luxury video. <laughs> what will this next one inspire me to do? Let's see. His imaginary friend came to life at night. Oh, well, I already have an imaginary friend. Her name is Emily and she's the editor of this channel. <laughs> Could you imagine that's how I reviewed revealed that this whole time there never was an Emily. I edited all my videos and pretended like somebody else did. Maybe that's true. How would you know? Emily, maybe you're imaginary. You're part of just my mind, Emily. <laughs> Is this video freaking you out, Emily? <laughs> Is it freaking all of you out watching right now? Maybe my imaginary friend is Bobby. Have you guys seen him in videos? Weird, cause he's imaginary. Okay, I've taken this too far. Wasting my life of luxury viewing time and all of yours, I'm sorry. Hello, Lux Army. Hi. Thank you so much for 7.5 million subs. You're we welcome. You so much. You're the reason we make these videos. Let's try Me? to get 8 million subs next. You heard Parker. If you're not subscribed to them, you should be anyway. So that you can find out when they post a new video right away and then attack me in the comments until I react to them like you always do with love. And let's smash 100,000 likes for the next episode to be released. You heard them. Same goes for this channel. 100,000 likes or I won't release the next Life of Luxury reaction video in a couple months from now <laughs> when they finally post one. I know it's like a full production and it takes time and whatever, but... I'm impatient, okay? So for this episode, we received an email from a mother named Barbara who uh. recently lost one of her sons <gasps> in a fire. I was not expecting that. <laughs> Poor Barbara. Also, Barbara is killing the Moo Moo game. <laughs> Neon sports bra underneath, you kidding me, Barbara? Good for you. Barbara says that ever since then, her other son, Caleb, has become mentally unstable. Oh, no. After losing his brother, her son Caleb became so lonely that he created an imaginary friend. Since oh, creating God. his imaginary friend, his personality completely changed. This is so Caleb, sad. Who was always peaceful, has started fighting with his friends and became violent and aggressive. Oh, no. Caleb has also started to collect his mother's undergarments and has started <laughs> cutting off pieces of the girl's hair from school. <laughs> I'm sorry, I went from pure sympathy, sadness, being like this poor family to wait, what? <laughs> what? That escalated so fast. What is he doing with the undergarments? I need to know. Actually, no, I don't need to know. I don't need to know. She thinks his imaginary friend told him to do this. She's oh. worried that her son is losing his mind and sent us this video for proof. Oh no. How old's her son? I don't know how old her son is. Okay, this... Straight up horror movie. tell if her son is 13 or 30. <laughs> also, if my child was talking to an imaginary friend saying that she doesn't want to hurt her family, I'd be moving out of the house. We would be gone. Now, Barbara wants us to help talk some sense into her son before he hurts someone or himself. Yes, yeah, not a therapist. Them. Parker and Chester. I also just realized she signed the letter, I will be here waiting. <laughs> I will just wait until you arrive at my home and answer my email. I'll be waiting. Bro, we shouldn't be getting involved with these people. We don't know how to deal with this. Uh, why, why, is, why is Parker, hold on. Parker Steve Jobs confirmed. What? Why? He went from this 
to this. Oh my God, he's trying to pose as a therapist. I figured it out. He's starting to try and pose as real doctors that should actually be called for these situations. Family. What? Also, Chester's hair this. is crazy. <laughs> deal with what? Her son losing his mind. Her son isn't losing his mind. He created an imaginary friend to <laughs> from his brother passing. Oh, okay. It's called a coping mechanism. Just because somebody sent you an email asking for help doesn't make you a psychologist. That's what he's trying to do. <laughs> Mark is like, what are you talking about? That's exactly what that means. I am a psychologist now because somebody asked me to be. You don't need a piece of paper to help somebody, Chester. Don't you remember? Just because somebody sent you an email asking for help doesn't make you a psychologist. And why are you dressed like that? Oh! Let's just keep driving. I thought they were just not going to talk about it. I thought they were just going to pretend it was totally normal he was dressed like that. I think this is a place. Let's go inside and meet these people. Looks like a normal house. Okay. For once. Barbara? <laughs> Why? I'm just gonna start answering my door like this from now on. <laughs> Hi. I'm just gonna start all my YouTube videos like that. Hi. It's me, Lauren, your favorite YouTuber. <laughs> Oh my kidding, that would probably kill on YouTube because people would be like, what happened? What, what's going on with her? The engagement would be unreal. Barbara's got it down. She's got it down. Her moo moo game, the faces, she knows. Hi, are you Barbara? Yes, <laughs> I am. Hi. And it's just gone. We're here to help you with your but son, Kayla. <laughs> Will you people be able to fix my son? Well, <laughs> we can certainly try. You people. Okay. What do you mean by you people? All right. She's walking so slow. It's gonna take years to get to the bedroom. No one gets awful lonely here at night. Oh no. What? <laughs> if you saw this picture, like if this lady got this photo taken of her, you'd be like, oh, what a lovely woman. But in this moment, um. No one gets awful just absolutely terrifying instead. Just Parker's like, what? damn it, I shouldn't have worn. I shouldn't have worn the turtleneck. It's too, <laughs> its powers are too strong. The older ladies cannot resist the turtleneck. Did he just, wait, did he just look down? He's like, mm, I'll check her out. I'll check her out. I'll give her a shot. This is his room, but I need to warn you. Ever since his brother died, he hasn't been the same. There's something really wrong with him. Listen. There's no need to worry. I know how to deal with trauma like this. You do? So try to talk to him. It's like, yes, I am a psychologist. Don't you see the glasses and the turtleneck? Barbara, get out of my way. I have experience with trauma. I cause a lot of it. <laughs> What's the son's name? Be careful. It's fine. There's just duct tape everywhere. Uh, 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 um, mm. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. How are you? Bro, I think there's something wrong with him. You think? Yeah, there's something wrong. He's been through a terrible tragedy recently. <laughs> no, I mean, something else. The problem is, he feels like he's alone right now. Why is he crouched like that? Oh, there there he goes. He's proposing. All right. See this? I'm eye level with him to show we're equal. <laughs> I'm sorry, that just came out. I feel like Parker Googled what psychologists do for trauma, and that's what's happening right now. On Google, it's just like, get down on eye level with children with trauma. I'm eye level with him to show we're equal. <laughs> I can't. There's just too much happening. <laughs> oh, Chester says nothing. It's like, well, bro, I told you, <laughs> something is wrong with him. Yeah, I'd be sick too if my brother died. I need to clean myself off. <laughs> and let's set up some cameras. Is that why he was wearing glasses to protect his eyes this whole time? Smart, smart. Okay, uh, let's set up some cameras in this house. All right. Wait, bro. What? One of our cameras already spotted something. Look. 
Uh, what? Noodle what neck! It? I think it's just a glitch or something. A glitch? That's not a glitch. Dude, something's there. All right, let's go check it out. I think it was over there. Is it in there? Oh, no, just hangers moving for no reason. Oh! What's in there? A dungeon? I love how I don't question that there's plastic on things anymore. Oh no. Chester? Chester behind you! Chester! Chester! There's nothing here. Uh oh. So he is imaginary. Dude, why would you knock that over? <laughs> I didn't. Something pushed that on How me. could you, Jester? There's nothing in here with us. Look, there's nothing in here. I just checked. Let's just go talk to Barbara now. Again with oh. open mouth. <laughs> oh my god, I love this lady. She's like, oh, the boys are here. Did you talk to my son? Uh, yeah. Kinda. We did. <laughs> Can you fix him? Listen, Caleb is a normal boy. He's not broken. He's just been through oh, a his name's Caleb. experience. It's just sometimes I think we lost Caleb a long time ago. Okay, well, we set up cameras all over your house. And in he's Caleb's like, not gonna room, explain so that. We can see how he's behaving at night. You're not gonna leave me alone, are you? I thought you could help keep my bed warm tonight. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, Barbara! I mean, get it, girl. He pans down her body again! Um, we're just gonna stay in your spare bedroom tonight. That's okay. Parker, don't ever wear a turtleneck again. This is what happens. But Barbara, get it, girl! You do you! Okay, take the bed on the right. The oh my the god, left. they're separate. Um, okay. Oh, dude, no way! What? The bed's completely soiled. Are you serious? Is it? Yeah, it's covered in piss. Like, it looks so bad. Like, oh my god. Damn, we're gonna have to sleep in the same bed. <laughs> Is he making it up? I'm to share this tiny bed with you. <laughs> the other bed wasn't soiled, was it? What? <laughs> Her mouth is still open. Parker looks like she's dead. Oh no, noodle neck. Noodle neck. There he is. Do what? <laughs> Is that supposed to be his brother? That's supposed to be dead? Now he's the noodle neck monster, invisible monster. Oh my god. He's getting swallowed. <laughs> oh. Wake up. Is that Caleb? Oh, it was Caleb. <laughs> oh my god, he's like a snake. Never mind, he's not a noodle neck, he's a snake. I mean, no need to run. He's gone. There's nothing in here. Where did the boy go? Uh, yeah. Don't touch the black goo. Parker, what is it? Why? Don't do it. No. Why? I think something happened to him. You think? <gasps> oh, oh, no, he is invisible. Oh, no. Only cameras can see him. <laughs> the special effects. How did they do it? Let me turn on night vision. Do you see anything? What? <laughs> what was that? Oh, because he's looking at the monitor. You can only see it with night vision. There goes Snake Man. <laughs> oh no, Barbara. Oh no. Can she see it? How did she see it? Oh no. See, Parker, you should have stayed in there. Why is Barbara wearing heels? 
Barbara was wearing heels to bed because she was like, just in case one of those nice boys comes back to my room, I want to be looking fantastic. And now it doesn't matter. He's got Barbara. He's got Barbara. Bye, Barbara. If they can't see him, what does that look like? She's just disappearing into a void? Well, at least they escaped. <laughs> what was that thing? I couldn't even see it. I don't know, but I think it took Barbara. Who the hell is Barbara? Let's just go to her car. Wait, wait. Who the hell is Barbara? <laughs> wait a minute. Was Barbara also invisible? Was Barbara Parker's invisible friend? Why does Chester not know who Barbara is? Why does Parker know who Barbara is, but Chester doesn't? None of this makes sense. <laughs> It's hurting my brain. Since filming, we haven't heard from Barbara or her son. Whatever that thing was, we do not think it was imaginary, you think? Or a friend. Although Chester, wait, I heard that correctly, right? Who the hell is Barbara? Let's just go to her car. Yeah, he okay. said, who is Barbara? Unless that was a mistake, but there, no. There's something I'm missing. Either Barbara was imaginary and only Parker and us could see her, or Chester got choked so badly that he forgot who Barbara was. Thank you guys for watching this video. Let's try to smash 100,000 likes for the next Yeah, you heard Parker. Do it. Also, if you can't leave a like on this video, then you're imaginary. We'll leave a like and see if you're actually not real. Ooh. <laughs> like Editor Emily.